I'm Claiborne Carson, a retired professor at Stanford. I now direct the World House Project at Stanford. I became interested in Dr. King when I went to the March on Washington when I was 19 years old. Kind of accidental, I was at a student conference and I thought I'll never get closer to Washington than this. I might as well see if I can get a ride over there. Ended up on August 28th, 1963 in a place I'd never been before. I'd never seen that many people. I was there for the march and uh, I had heard about Martin Luther King. If you're there, he's simply the last speaker in a long day of speeches and his speech was relatively short. I was able to watch him, but at the same time thinking about how am I gonna get out of a crowd of 200,000 people? And uh, I never did find the bus that I came on. Martin's dream became my dream. I wish that people today could have that, that sense of a new society, a new world, and that vision of a better future. I didn't know anything about Westmont. And I heard that there was a, this Christian school, and I said, well, you know, like, would I be welcome there? I'm not, I'm not a born-again Christian. I'm not uh, deeply religious. I'm still figuring that out. You know, here I am talking about, you know, things that they might not even know about Martin Luther King, how unconventional he was. And, you know, they liked it. They, they were interested in it. When I think of the World House idea, in the World House, we have to live with people who have different perspectives and somehow build a community. The world is full of Buddhist people and Hindu people and Islamic people, and we need to be able to relate to that. If there were more communities like Westmont, I, I think that we could at least set a model for what King was trying to do during his lifetime. This is an experimental place. Can you build a community that crosses these boundaries? Uh, so this has been a wonderful experience. Uh, and I kind of envy the students here. I mean, what a wonderful place.